again just as soon as we hit that there water hole for some mud and then it's off again for the Big Apple, the Windy City, Astrodome City and Points West. But before we chow down we're gonna hear from Diesel Don's own lips just what it's like to be riding on the open road what it's like to pull the wool over the eyes of them big bad smokies about putting the pedal to the metal and all that other good old boy truck stuff. Ain't that right, Don, old boy? Now the handle's Diesel Don. Oh, sure. Diesel Don. Okay, Diesel Don, suppose you tell us just what it's like to drive this bucket of bolts down the boulevard with the hammer down. Say what? You know. The thrill of the open road. The, the freedom of being a modern day cowboy driving his steed of steel down the boulevard with the hammer down. I ain't no cowboy. You ain't? Why, I thought that was trucker lingo like 10-4 and breaker breaker. I don't know diddly about cowboys. I know I'm hauling 10, 12 hours a day, six days a week. And I gotta deal with all kinds of weather. Them crazy four wheelers and lousy diesel fuel. Not to mention them Smokies. Four wheelers? Yeah, four wheelers. The weather you can do nothing about. The four wheelers you can just try to avoid. Buzz buster, fruit liner, front door. But the diesel fuel's a real bummer. Ever since that oil embargo a few years back messed things up. Cars, four wheelers means cars. Hey, that's real good, kid. Now tell me what your little books say about the problems with diesel fuel. Gee, I, I don't think it says anything. Maybe, maybe there ain't enough of it. You're wrong again, kid. Ever since that oil embargo drove up prices, the oil companies have had to look elsewhere, like the North Sea. They found oil, and there's plenty of it. But it ain't like it used to be. The cetane level's lower, and the sulfur content's higher. And this here diesel knows the difference. It ain't nobody's fault, but the fuel's just not the same. So what do you do? I need something that solves all my fuel problems to help me get this baby started day after day, week after week, so I don't have to worry about lost loads, especially when the cold weather hits. Don't you have a heater? Well, not for me, for the rig. In cold weather, diesel fuel gels. Because when cold weather hits diesel fuel, it gets thicker than my sweet granny's molasses, and it can start waxing up as early as 40 degrees above zero. And it can happen even while you're running. Well, I'll be. For a long time, I had to leave this baby running all night just so I could haul in the morning. But when we came through Beantown, I saw a place selling some kind of anti-gel. Won't that work? After the embargo, the quality of diesel fuel went down the tubes. Every time you come over a hill, there's another snake oil salesman trying to sell you a magic potion. Wait a second. I got just a ticket for that rig. Hey. Try my special deluxe anti-gel. Get loose with my moose juice. You just need a little more of this stuff. Wait a second. 
Take a look at this. Until Stanodyne came out with its winter and performance formulas. Stanodyne? I never heard of Stanodyne. Well, I did. The hard way. Them other so-called additives were a waste of money. Some could do an engine more harm than good. You were better off paying for the extra fuel and letting your rig run all night. I remember last year when I was hauling and a freak storm dropped the temperature down into the teens before you knew it. Once that fuel started gelling, I knew I was in for big trouble. Until a guy from New Orleans driving a jimmy turned me on to Standardine's winter formula fuel conditioner. It got me through that mess and I've trusted it ever since. I never heard of them. I hadn't either, but I ask around. It turns out that Standardine is diesels. They're America's number one designers and manufacturers of diesel fuel systems. After almost a half a century in the business, nobody knows diesels and fuels like they do. Who do you think invented the rotary fuel injection pump? Standardine. So like I told you, Standardine's on more original equipment than anybody else in the good old US of A. And they make the only diesel fuel additive that's worth a lick. But how do you know? Well, this rig knows, and I can feel it. It starts easier. It blows less smoke, runs quieter and smoother. Standardine's fuel conditioners don't use alcohol, and they're a lot easier to use and cost less than trying to guess while blending fuels at the pump. I got an idea. Here, learn something. This here rig's my bread and butter. I don't take silly chances with no weak need fuels and mysterious antigels. I can't afford to. So I use Standardine's performance and winter conditioner formulas every time I fuel up. And for the one-two punch, I use one of their diesel fuel heaters. You mean Standardine makes a diesel fuel heater too? A heater? They make three of them, each fleet tough and heavy duty. A coolant exchange model, an electric model with thermostatic control, and another electric model with coolant heat exchanger. Each one is self-contained, easy to install, and helps prevent waxing of the fuel filter so you can get a rig started in cold weather. Gee, that's an awful lot to remember. Not if it's how you make a living. I know, maybe a nice hot meal would help my memory. Maybe, but I don't have the time. I've got to get this rig running. Not even time for a nice hot cup of coffee? I'll tell you what, here's something you're never going to forget. How would you like to do me a big favor and check the back for bubble trouble? Bubble trouble? Oh, sure. Bubble trouble. Bubble trouble? Bring it on home, brown bottles, brush your teeth and comb your hair. Bubble trouble. Here it is. It means tire problems. Looking good, Diesel Don. No bubble trouble. Everything's a okay, Diesel Don. 10 4. Everything's okay, Diesel Don. Looking good. Still looking good, Diesel Don. Diesel Don. Diesel Don. Ain't you forgetting something? Diesel Dawn! Help! Be smart. Give winter the one-two punch. Use genuine Stanadyne winter formula or winter 1000 diesel fuel conditioners and install a Stanadyne diesel fuel heater. The heater will keep the filter free of wax. The winter conditioners will keep the fuel liquid in the tanks, crossover, and lines. They'll clean the injectors and disperse water. For year-round warm weather peak operation, Use Stanadyne's Performance Formula Diesel Fuel Conditioner. Stanadyne diesel fuel heaters and conditioners are fleet tough and heavy duty. Because your diesel knows the difference.